you have those days where you're just winning. You guys know. Josh just wasted all of our good material. <laughs> I don't have any good material. We don't talk all day, and so um, we sit here beforehand. We're like, what are we going to talk about? Literally get to see us, like, decompressing. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, this is us. You know, this is our daily talk. Find out what's going on. Literally. Literally. Josh is at work with adults, and I'm home no, no, with There was no children. adults today. I was, like, doing, like, data. I was killing it today. At one point, I was doing so good. that I don't know. You guys get excited. I get excited. It might be the oils, but I was excited. And I literally had to throw in, like, uh uh, timber and I was like getting it in my office and it was like awesome I had a, like mini dance party and then I had to bring myself back down <sighs> I diffused way too much citrus fresh <laughs> I good. held down a couch today oh my god it was to get so away. sad I kept getting texts from my wife she's like the babies they're doing me in you can't you guys can't see it maybe maybe I, you know because I put some makeup on just so I look pretty for you all <laughs> But it like maybe 30 minutes ago, I was still in my pajamas from the night before, <laughs> coughing, feeling terrible, sore throat. I totally caught what the babies had times 10. So I'm trying, I'm like throwing everything at it. I think I guzzled some Ninja today, green smoothies, vitamins. I've been gargling the thieves mouthwash like crazy and rolling on the breathe again like crazy. I gotta love breathing. I'm like attacking it. So I, I actually feel a lot better than I did this morning. I felt like I was dying this morning. Guys, can I can I just say that it's funny like what like when what goes out the window and what doesn't? Like, you know, my wife gets like sick and it's like all of a sudden like laundry schmondry, like done. <laughs> like raising and feeding children, no. But I go on and I turn off the porch light because I forgot and it's like don't turn off my porch light. That's how getting Matt home like it's yeah, like you have the to sacred tell you have to tell them why the porch light is on. I didn't realize I, I didn't realize we were doing it. I wasn't on the same. But it's funny, like from her like death couch, she's like, "Not the porch light," and I'm like, "That's <laughs> that's what we're worrying about here." Children are duct taped to the wall, but the porch light is on. Yes. Are you gonna tell them what scent that you're doing in our? Victory oh, not 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 yeah yeah. Oh. So we were talking about like older kiddos and not always posting you know pictures about them. So I thought we'd just bring our older ki kiddos into the frame with us today there's matt the one in boot camp emma yep and chris yep and i absolutely love this picture of them it's it is super a cute. great picture my uh, three amigos my older three amigos um so i did this whole i was so proud of myself i went on walmart we got family pictures taken a month or so ago before you, matt Chelsea. before matt shipped out yeah well he didn't really ship out before we dropped him off at boot camp we got last family photos so um i thought it was all snazzy uploaded them put them on the thing and then i get them in the mail and i realized that i made a fatal mistake about the canvas portraits okay you guys notice something on the edges chris lost half his head <laughs> there's a couple other so ones it doesn't say when you crop it that you know it you're also not is cropping it to the edge of the frame. You're cropping the wraparound. Yes. That so might have been lost. important information to have, Walmart. Hi, Chris. <laughs> so Chris lost a little bit of his head. There's nine of these all together. So there's like individual, there's the siblings, there's Josh and I, there's the family. So the family picture, Sawyer is literally my baby. He's is like over baby here. on the side. <laughs> Anyways. It's like the picture where, you know, you like the picture, but there's someone in it who needs to go. So Sora got the cut. He's now on the side. He's holding up the side on How the weird. It says, do you want to tag Christopher Cubbage in this video? Whoa. They That's can now weird. know by... They just because, saw his oh, face. Oh, did they see his face? I thought they heard us talking. I'm like, That's the weird. Facebook is now reading our minds and lips and facial. The Facebook is taking over. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to give a little special shout out to our oldest... Um, you know, parenting isn't always easy and he is embarking on this brand new becoming an adult, finding his own independence. It may have not been exactly the way, you know, we had a little disagreement. So I just want to give him a little shout out. Someone tagged me today. And one of the most amazing things as a parent, right, is getting to hear praise about your kids 
out in the general public or when they go over to friends' houses, right? Because it's not just who they are when they're with us, but it's who they are out there. And I always, my son works at a local Starbucks and I get so many messages of people telling me that they get this sweet guy making their coffee, making their drinks, and they just like, he makes their day. So, little shout out to Chris, our barista. We're so sad we don't get free coffee anymore now that you have flown the coop. Yeah. And we love you yeah. very much. And we pray for you daily. Fly, baby bird. Fly. <laughs> so, Chris is our first, like, or second, I guess, because Matt. Anyways, a little special shout out. Matt went to boot camp. The you know the Marines decided to take him and make him <laughs> adult like super quick. Was like zero to adulthood in like three months. Mm -hmm. Chris Chris has been on the more gradual path, but now is you know experiencing you know life adulthood. I do, I feel like sometimes I want to apologize to like I'm like I'm sorry. <laughs> it was all a lie. Adulthood is hard. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Godspeed. Why go in are, peace. <laughs> why are we? Why were we when we were younger so quick to really? go to adulthood? I want to be an adult. I want to be Bills? on my own. No, no, you Utilities? do not. Utilities, <laughs> car payments, car I want insurance. Someone to pay my bills, make me food, and tell me to take a nap. I'm too old to go back home now. But if I had known, I totally would have taken advantage of my parents longer. Totally sorry. I would have like lived off of them a lot longer before I decided to I get out on my own. I would have into my early thirties. So Matt is our second oldest. I'm gonna show my picture again because I love this picture. So Matt, right here, my second oldest. He is in the final, like less than 12 hours. Final countdown of almost Marines, and so I didn't get it together with the my Reaper is just around the corner. Crucible candle, but I do have my crucible diffuser, and because I it's know. so amazing, it runs for like 10 to 12 hours, so it's perfect. So we're gonna light this bad boy up. But we were trying to decide what oil we should put in it. So I went around and I grabbed a couple. For you oily people out there, you know where my mind's going to be at. There's only one crucible oil. Josh and it's has his be ideas. it's got to be You're not supposed to give it away. Wow. Wow. See, this is unscripted. Just give it away, Josh. Yeah. Give it all up. I'm okay. going to hold it. Because so <laughs> Josh is team Valor. Valor. Oh, I hope that has actually some in it. That's my vintage bottle I just kind of hold on to. Um, it might not have any in it, but I have more somewhere. No, there's, uh, there's so I thought in maybe there. Dream Catcher. Mm, dream Catcher. Still not as good as Valor. Okay, because he's going for his dream, but it does make you sleep. So I don't know if that'd be the best oil, but I just thought maybe it'd help him sleep in those you two might to need four some hours. We're diffusing it. I know. I think I might be diffusing that boy, boy tonight. Magnify your purpose. He's finding all out about I can't even okay talk. but what is that oil really for it's for anything it's just a you told me it had a special no place in our future no the reason i bought it is because it's a great one to diffuse in your labor and delivery room right magnifying when purposes magnifying your purpose as you're giving birth <laughs> to a baby that's a purpose all right <laughs> right right Amen. Uh, believe. This is one of my most favorite oils because we all know it's all about mindset and yep. belief and faith that you can do it, right? We know you can do it, Matt. And his best Low buddy. Engine that could. I keep I forgetting to give I him a can. shout out. Jake. Jake. His best yes. buddy. Isaiah calls him Yake. Yake. Yes. <laughs> Always asked if Yake is coming with Yake, us. Jake would come with us on family things. He's like part of the family. Yeah. They enlisted together, so they are completing this together. How cool is that to get to actually complete it with like a best buddy it and was so funny. Like, brother Marine. Isaiah, Jake became like an honorary brother, like on the way back from camping. Were we on the way back? Or I don't know. He just wanted to, he like reached over and like grabbed Jake's hand. He's like, we're buddies. Oh, he, <laughs> I Jake have a picture. Cable is super cool about it. He's really good with kids. So. Yeah. So Jake is completing this yes. too. So, so shout out to too. Jake. Him and, him and Matt. Believe. So there's one. Uh, freedom. Freedom. Because... <laughs> They're going to get all sorts of freedoms after they complete this. They get to go do this, like, warrior breakfast. Maybe they'll need some digests Apparently afterwards. the, you know, freedom oil <laughs> I is just here, love this but oil. Young Living still working on the America Isn't oil. Isn't that a cool oil, freedom? America. We are actually the freedom oilers. We are. That is our... Yeah. Our group. I just grabbed this one because I thought it was so appropriate. Sacred Mountain. They're <laughs> climbing the Reaper. I call I think this. They have a different name for that mountain. <laughs> I call this oil actually a hug in a bottle. It's actually a really amazing, emotionally supporting oil. But I just thought the name was appropriate. So then there's. Uh, what did you say, Josh? Sacred Mountain. Valor. 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 
So dollars. for those of you in the oily I feel know, like if there's a word that describes soldiers, Valor's got to be one of them. Yeah, Valor. Uh, this is my vintage bottle. Valor is known as confidence in a bottle. It is. Uh, so for those of you who might struggle with. Um, occasional stressors, anxieties, all those things. Uh, Valor is amazing. In fact, I use this bad boy a lot and it smells really good. It's actually part of my daily. Um, we use it on our teen daughter when she needs a little boost of confidence. Like, yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, they do call it Mount Mother <laughs> Flocker. Fodder. <laughs> it's actually called the Reaper, but so yeah. Valor. So this is the oil I think we're gonna put in our lantern for Matt for yes. his crucible that he's completing in by 10 a.m., somewhere right around there, a California time, he will be an official Marine. I wish I could be there to hug yep. him and congratulate him. They tell you no phone call is a good thing, yep. which is kind of strange because so. I'm like, I want the official phone call that he made it, yeah. uh, but we don't get that. Yes. So I actually So no phone call is a good. I don't know if I actually have, um, any, I know I guess I do. I have like a little bit there, left. Yeah, there's a little. Okay, in there. so add the official crucible oil, Valor, in Matt's honor. So we don't have a crucible candle, but we are using our crucible diffuser. Okay, there is no Valor in this. We are out of wow, Valor. Wow, we grabbed the I wrong bottle. I thought it was in there. Wait, I can't pop the top. That, that's what I was gonna do. It smells so good, you guys. I wish you could smell it. Oh gosh. It's probably one of my um, most it is blue. favorite. It is blue though. And isn't this diffuser so pretty? This is actually metal. Can you hear that? and glass. Oh, there we go. No plastic. You got like four drops. Oh, nice. That's That'll cool. get him to the top. <laughs> Valor, confidence in a bottle. Yeah. Best oil out there. Um, I am also confident that you are going to sleep tonight. Why? I don't know, because I, we're having confidence. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I believe it. Oh my gosh, because, because you guys, I just had a thought. You know how they do those candy bar greeting cards where people like lay out yes. a candy bar. Uh, they use candy bars to send a message. Are we doing we that? We totally need to do a whole thing with just oils. Wouldn't that be funny? That is. I totally not where I thought you were going. I thought you were just saying we should make them because she was talking about we need to make signs Can for graduation. I was thinking we were going to do the candy bar signs, but she's just talking about, you know. <gasps> Candlelight oil. mode. Candlelight. Oh, yep. There is that. our. There is our. Our that bad boy's gonna candle burn. Going, yep. 10 a.m., you guys. 10 a.m. If we get a phone call, we don't want a phone call. We don't want a no phone, phone call. calls. No phone calls. Be praying for no phone calls. No phone calls. No broken bones. Just no warrior injuries. breakfast in the bellies of our of our now Marines. The Marines are legit, though, you guys. There was a Marine in past uh, in our company that literally broke his hip. And his company carried him to the top of the Reaper so that he could complete it. He didn't yeah. get to march in graduation because he, obviously the broken hip. But could you imagine? If you know anything about like broken bones and like, like it's, I don't, the guys carrying him like, yeah, they had a little <sighs> bit of extra weight, but the guy with the broken hip getting hauled up the, that is Marine quality metal right there. Ouch. Like to be like, nope. I, most of the time you would be going to the ER right now, but instead you're going to be dragged up a hill. Oorah. <laughs> Semper oh. Fi. Sorry, I took a piece of ice. <laughs> now she's going to chew her ice on camera. Well, yeah, we they about? carried him to the top. That's the most amazing thing. So Leave you kind of know that behind, none of your yes. boys are going to get left behind, um, but you don't want the report that they got injured. Really so we're is. praying for no injuries, no sickness. They make it to the top. It's a pretty incredible ceremony, so. And it's one of those things, like, where they really, like, it's not just, like, one kid or, like, one, you know, recruit is getting picked out to be, like, they are constantly, like, taking leadership and be like, okay, it's your turn. Like, you, you tackle this challenge. You, you know, you take uh, the head of your fire squad. And so everyone, you know, team building, but also leadership, like, all those things. And it's been really cool like getting the letters from matt and seeing like the first few ones like oh i should have signed up for the air force i don't know if i'm gonna make it to like he was kidding he i got was expert kidding. yes he was he was he's totally... like i'm beginning to think maybe the air force was more my speed because it's kind of a joke. He, the whole time before he was like you know joking about you know there's like yeah. military jokes about the different branches yes, yes. and the air force boot camp is supposed to be like you know they're staying in oh, hotels gosh. <laughs> They're staying in hotels. We just ran totally our mile different. for the day, guys. Back to the Hilton. <laughs> Would you like syrup with those waffles or just powdered sugar? 
<laughs> so yeah, so in his first letter, I was like, at least he's keeping his sense of humor. Yes. But we watched him really struggle in those first letters, and that was so hard as a mom. Um, and I'm not a super emotional person in front of people, but I literally every day I would go in his room and just like think about him and pray for him, and I, I would just cry. Just at random times too. I mean, I cried you know, for like two months straight. I, mean, just like, <laughs> I totally mourned my yeah. child leaving. Um, <laughs> so baby birds, right? <laughs> we love them so much. It's probably one of the the hardest parts of parenting is this letting go process. So we've yeah. been kind of doing that with two of our older ones, and even just our even um, our daughter who's fourteen, just kind of watching her embark in these new things and there's so many things you just want to control as a parent you and you just want to like let... fix things for them but you can't nope. and so you just really have to let them go and release them and know that they are in God's hands he is in control and ultimately he has the best answers way better than yep. we can do yep. so we just um, prayer prayer and more prayer yep or whatever your Faith it is, is. It is hard to do the switch sometimes because you'll, you know, be tackling like teenage things like with them, like trying to help them succeed, and then you're dealing with toddlers. And I find myself like, Isaiah, come on, you're three years old now, get a job. Like, like let's let's do this. Do you need help with the applications? Have you even applied to college yet? And he's like looking at me like, Dad, I just want to watch Dino Trucks. <laughs> I think the hardest part is when you try to have serious conversations with older ones and oh, the little and ones the little are ones. losing their marbles yep. or there's poopy diapers or it's bedtime and you're like, I'm so sorry, but I have to go I'm trying deal to have like this. serious conversation and I got, you know, screaming McScreamer pants here. Like, you know. For any of you who have older and younger marbles kids. Marbles over having to eat his broccoli. Older and younger. real life. Do you need to go potty, Matthew? <laughs> yeah, the, you got it. I ask everyone if they need to go potty. Oh, that's bad. Did that's you get really your bad. water bottle <laughs> and your snacks? Are you all set for school? <laughs> Anyways. Hold my hand as we cross the street. Dad, I'm a Marine now. I've totally oh. babied my, I know. Oops. <laughs> I've totally babied so my weird. older kids on accident. Um, and on purpose, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. Yep. So Crucible Candle is lit. Yep. It'll be going. We'll keep you updated. Hopefully, no phone calls. Yep. No phone calls. No. Um, and we will see you guys again tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good evening, guys. Bye. Bye.